we start the finals of the Yukonuba Champion Stakes, I would ask you to welcome into the ring last year's winner, Debbie Pearson's Shetland Sheepdog, champion Edgelonian, singing the blues, better known as Sid. Okay. okay, no, 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 you stay in there. This ain't over yet. Sid has had a remarkable career. As apart from proving a credit to British dogdom at last year's Yukonuba World Challenge in Amsterdam, where he also won Best of Breed at the Winner Show and the Holland Cup shows, he has broken the breed record for CC's one with a total of 48. He also won eight pastoral groups and created breed history by winning two bests in show at All Breeds Championship shows. I know that Debbie and Sid's top level success would have given the founder of the kennel, Debbie's late father, Roy, enormous pride and pleasure. And in recent years, I can't remember a more popular combination. Many of you were here last year and will remember the swell of emotion that greeted my announcement that Debbie wasn't going to Dallas, but she was going to Amsterdam. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for a little more emotion, because after a lot of heart searching, Debbie has decided that, as of today, at eight years of age, Sid will be retired and has decided to take him out at the very top at the scene of last year's great victory. Please show your appreciation for Sid and his sporting owner as they leave the ring for the last time. Okay. So it's now time to introduce our individual Yukonuba Champion Stakes finalists. So give them a big hand, please, as they come in the Border Terrier, the Skipperke, the German Shorthaired Pointer, the Australian Shepherd, the Maltese, the Tibetan Terrier, the Whippet, the Papio. Another Australian Shepherd, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, the Welsh Terrier, the Pointer, one of the Samoids, the Norwegian Bohund, the Basenji, the German Wirehead Pointer the Sky Terrier, another Samoyed, a Bull Mastiff, another Persenji, the French Bulldog, another Border Terrier, another Samoyed, another Bull Mastiff, the Beagle, the Picking Ease, and finally, another Samoyed. Okay, so we'll just give our handlers two seconds to relax and momentarily, um, I'm going to ask Annalise Reiki on behalf of Yukonuba to walk in our two judges. You've already seen the program, so it's no longer a big secret. Our judges today are two young men who I can honestly say have the admiration of any serious dog exhibitors for their dedication to the sport. They're two young men, both with hound backgrounds, well, the one was born into the world of Great Danes. He made a name for himself in miniature wire dachshunds. 
The other was an Afghan hound breeder through and through, although he did have a little toe in the water with mini wires at some point. If you want to know more about them, you can read all about them in the program. It gives me enormous pleasure to introduce our two judges for the Champion Stakes Finals. I know they're going to do a great job. I know they're going to enjoy it. So please put your hands together for Jeff Horswell and Mark Okoza. Thank you, Annalise. Now, my friends know that I'm not terribly good with numbers. I'm not as bad as Di Johnson, but I'm not very good with numbers. Um, and uh, I missed out one number in the, in the program. And that was for a very good reason, because the, the missing dog was actually a miniature wirehaired dachshund who is owned by Zena Thorne Andrews. And as all of you will know, she has a very close association with Jeff Horswell, who of course is a partner in the Drake's League Kennel. So Zena had actually qualified champion Drake's League St. Sybil. Could you just set up in the middle of the ring, please, Zena, like everyone else did, thank you. She qualified at the Hound Show under Ken Sinclair. She's now three years of age. She recently broke the Bitch CC record and now has 34, or did she get another one this morning? 30. See, she's been off pot hunting this morning before she came here. So she's now on 35, right? She's got 35 now, which is a new Bitch CC record. She has nine group wins and places, one third in the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Finals last year, and several bests in show. So our thanks for Zena for hopefully not breaking any speed limits in getting her in time. And uh, I'm sure she's happy that Jeff is judging. So thank you very much. So our judges will now have a little walk around and could one of the ring staff get rid of what looks a little bit of something nasty in the middle of the ring, please? Oh, that's handy, at least you could pick it up. I was thinking the worst. Um, now they've had a first glance. I think we're all, we're just keeping three in, Mrs. Bliss, yes. So our two judges are going to mark each dog out of 100 and then the final seven are going to be judged individually again again receiving a new set of points out of 100 and that will determine our final five placings so on the table now we have dog number one and this is a five-year-old border terrier male who qualified at midland counties he is owned bred and is being handled today by Kate Irving, and they come from Banbury in Oxfordshire. He's won 12 challenge certificates, 14 reserves, and 11 best of breeder championship shows. Twice, he's won the Terrier Group, he's had two Group Twos, one Group Three, and having been top puppy in the breed in 2011 himself, He's the sire of the top puppy in 2012 and 2013. Interestingly, he is also the sire of the other Border Terrier who is competing today, Brackenfell Bach to Bach, champion Dandy Howe, Dr. Walter. So Phil Davis handing over the clipboard so that Mark and Jeff can mark the dog out of 100. And they then move on to number two, the Skipperke male. He's now seven years of age, is owned and is being handled by Trisha Morley, and was bred in the USA by Carol Luke and Mary Dietz. Geordie is the winner of 28 CCs and nine reserves, 
with 20 bests of breed. He won the group at Richmond and group two at Midland Counties last year and was best in show at Booba, which is obviously his lucky show, in 2010. And please do applaud your favourites. It's not going to influence these two guys, I can assure you, but it all, it all helps the atmosphere and it all helps Dog World TV background. This is dog number four. Morgan is now six years of age and qualified at Boston where the judge was Tony Jackson. He's owned by Adam Rose and James Gaffney and Morgan is now the winner of 17 challenge certificates. He previously won group three at Crufts in 2013 and two years previously he was the runner-up at the Kennel Club Junior Warrant Finals. This is amazingly the third time for Morgan to appear at the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Finals. <laughs> Show champion and Netherlands champion, Kavakan Top at the Top, otherwise known as Morgan. Now we have the Manchester qualifier, the two-year-old Australian Shepherd male. He's owned and is being handled by Melanie Spavin. Austin has now won 16 CCs, eight reserves, and has 17 times been best to breed at championship shows. He's won five pastoral groups and several group two, three, and four placings. Number five in your program is the Australian Shepherd male, champion hearthside, man of mystery at Dialin, known to his friends as Austin Powers. table now we have this three-year-old Maltese male number six the qualifier from the UK toy dog show where the judge was Ian Miller he's owned by Sarah Jackson and Andrea Wiley he's the winner of 14 challenge certificates all of them with best of breed has won five toy groups was reserved best in show at Richmond and Midland Counties last year, and Belfast this year. He's had multiple group placements and was the top winning Maltese of 2014 and 15, and was best in show at this year's Breed Club Championship show. Champion Benetone Designer Design Label. <laughs> Known to his friends as Bandit. So, so from the UK Toy Dogs Maltese, we move to the Birmingham National Qualifier, the Tibetan Terrier male, who's now two and a half years of age, number nine. He's now two and a half years of age, was owned and bred by Neil Smith and Judy Hadlington. He's won four CCs, all of them with best of breed, seven reserves. 
He, and he's also won two utility groups and one group four. He is a great grandson of the dog I'm sure most of you will remember, the 2007 Crufts Best in Show winner, champion Iraqi Fabulous Willie. This is Jagger, otherwise known as champion Tetsimi Moves Like Jagger. onto the table with great enthusiasm. We have the Whippet from the May Scottish Kennel Club, where the judge was Valerie Foss. He's now six years of age. He's owned, bred, and handled by Jane Wilton Clark. He's now won 37 CCs, 16 reserves, and 21 bests of breed and he's now the dog CC record holder in the breed. Troy has won three hound groups, four group twos, three group threes, and one group four. Number 10 in your program is the Whippet, Shall Fleet Simply a Lord, Troy. This is the two-year-old Papillon male who qualified at Bath. Number 11 in your program. Is owned and bred by Irene Robb and her son Glenn. Travis has now won 26 CCs, nine reserves, and 23 bests of breed. He's won seven toy groups, four group twos, was best in show at the East of England and reserve best in show at Leeds, Driffield and the UK toy dog shows. He's also won two bests in show and two reserve bests in show at breed club championship shows. Glen Iron, shooting star maker, Sancho, known as Travis. Number 12, the four-year-old Australian Shepherd Bitch. She qualified at Southern Counties, where the judge was Albert White. She's owned by Angie and Neil Allen and Robert Harlow. She's now won the total of 43 challenge certificates, 38 times winning best of breed. She won the group at Crufts in 2013 and at the World Show in Helsinki in 2014. The Australian Shepherd Bitch, champion and Finnish champion, Allmark Fifth Avenue, known as Tiffany. known as Cody at home. He qualified at three counties under uh, Doreen Smelly Gray. He's now four years of age and is owned by Christine Kenyon and Arthur Ward. 
Cody was bred by Linda Marston and is being handled by Louise Birmingham. Cody has won 14 challenge certificates, nine reserves, and has 25 times won best of breed. He was best in show at Border Union and reserve best in show at East of England this year. Last year, he was best in show at the Working and Partial Breeds of Scotland. He's now won eight pastoral groups, two group twos. Number 13 is the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, Charivet Simply Special at Chisana. This is the four-year-old Welsh Terrier who qualified at Border Union, number 14, is owned by Andrew Potts, was bred by Cara Devani, and is being handled by Paul Wilkinson. Bullet is the winner of 16 CCs, two reserves, and 14 bests of breed. He's won one group two, one group three, and one group four. For the last two years, he's been best in show at both the Breed Club and Association Championship shows. And he is, of course, the top Welsh Terrier for 2015. Number 14 is the Welsh Terrier male champion and Irish champion Kebulak Trigger Happy, otherwise known as Bullet. Now the four-year-old pointer bitch who qualified at Blackpool number 15, where the judge was Sigurd Wilberg, and is owned by Sharon Dyer and her daughter Sam. She's won 29 CCs and seven reserves, along with 20 bests of breed. She's won seven gun dog groups, one best in show, two reserve best in show all breeds in addition to three group twos, two group threes, and two group fours. Not surprisingly, Juicy also has her junior warrant and was also best in show at the Setter and Pointer Championship show. Number 15 in your program is the Pointer, show champion, Sean Philly, Juicy Couture. Number 16 in the program, the five-year-old Samoyed male, the qualifier from Windsor, is owned by Lisa Meyer-Jones, was bred by Andrea Kirkwood, and is being handled by Lisa. Zeus has won six CCs, three reserves, and six bests of breed at championship shows. He's won one group one and one group two. He was runner-up to the Welsh top dog, and best in show at the Working and Pastoral Breeds of Wales Championship show, and in 2013, best in show at the Samoyed Breeders and Owners League Championship show. 
This is champion Van Dream Imperial K. Zeus, who qualified under Bill Brown Cole at Windsor. Seventeen, the Norwegian Buhund male, who is now three years of age, known to his intimates as Mo, and he qualified at the East of England, where the judge was Mary Dietz. He's won seven CCs, seven reserves, and fourteen times has been best of breed at championship shows. Mo famously won the group under Paolo Dondina at Southern Counties when he was just 10 months old. Champion Arns Groft, Dynamo Farah of Coromandel. On the table now, we have the Leeds qualifier, the two-year-old Persenji bitch, number 18. Matilda has won six CCs, four reserves, and five times has been best to breed. She won group two at both Birmingham National and Leeds championship shows. She arrived from the USA in January, aged just 13 and a half months, following a successful career in the USA with her breeder. Champion, American and Canadian champion, Classics Girl with a Curl, otherwise known as Matilda. Number 20, the two-year-old German wirehead pointer male who qualified at National Gundog. Show champion, Bariv Bontepok Skral. He's now two years of age, was bred by Sharon Pinkerton and her late mother, Barbara. He's won 13 CCs, four reserves, and 11 times has been best of breed. He's won two Group 1s whilst only 12 months of age. Admirably, he's currently being trained to hopefully become a full champion. So a big thank you to Bailey, the German wire pointer. The Sky Terrier is a six-year-old male who qualified at Paynton, number 21. Champion Selena, the special one. He's owned, bred, and handled by Sue Breeze. He's now the winner of 26 challenge certificates, which is a breed record for CCs won under different judges. 25 of them have been with Best of Breed. He won the Terrier Group at Crufts in 2013, the Group and Reserve Best in Show at Bath the following year, when he also won groups at Leeds and the August SKC shows. Mm -hmm. 
So thank you to Lampard the Sky Terrier. Number 22, the Samoyed male, he qualified under Jeff Luscott at Bournemouth, is now three years of age, is the winner of seven CCs, six reserves, and four times has been best of breed. Is owned by Paul and Barbara Johnson, and was bred and is being handled today by Val Freer. Harley won the group at East of England in 2013, and Bournemouth this year. He was a Pup of the Year finalist and runner-up in the Kennel Club Junior Warren competition. <laughs> Champion Nikara Ice Diamond, or Harley. The four-year-old bull mastiff male, the qualifier at the Welsh Kennel Club, number 23, is being handled by his owner, Pete Myers, He now lives in Liverpool. Number 23 is the Bull Mastiff male champion Old Manila's Whiskey Map for Optimus. He was best in show at the National Working and Pastoral Breed Show last year and also reserve best in show at Boston and Bournemouth. On the table now is the Basenji, number 24, a three and a half year old male who qualified at the August Scottish Kennel Club show. He's now three and a half years of age, is owned by Brian and Teresa Hanna, was bred by David and Beverly Adams. Merlin has won nine CCs, five reserves, and five best to breed and alongside his Kennel Club Show Certificate of Merit. This is the male champion Kissangani caught in the act for Milucris. On the table now is the three and a half year old French Bulldog male number 25. He's now three and a half, was bred by Dean and Abby Kund, and is owned by them in partnership with Alex and Linda Harrop. He's won nine CCs, five reserves, and five times he's been best of breed. Bentley won group two at Darlington this year and is currently 
the top French bulldog for 2015. Champion Chelm Bull Moon Pilot, otherwise known as Bentley. Number 26 is the three-year-old Border Terrier male, grimly qualified at Richmond, where the judge was Anne MacDonald. Is owned by Colin Hall and Lucy Ellis, who also bred him, interestingly, in their first ever litter. Grimley's won 18 cc's, five reserves, and 14, 14 times was best of breed. He was reserved best in show at National Terrier and twice has been reserved best in show all breeds. Number 26 is the Border Terrier, champion Brackenfell, Bock to Bar. This is Grimley. This is the two and a half year old Samoid male who qualified at Darlington, number 27. He was bred by Christine Ospensky and she owns him in partnership with Charlotte Craig and Gary Scoble. He's won one CC, three reserves and one best of breed in this country, but overseas has won 10 CACs, three CACIBs, as well as three green stars in Ireland. He's a best in show winner in Estonia and reserve best in show winner in Russia. He won the Samoid of the Year and Samoid Puppy of the Year in 2013, aged just 10 months. And this is Estonia, Latvia, Russia and Baltic champion, Smiling Snowball Russian Emperor at Samarovich otherwise known as Gena. This is number 28, the four and a half year old bull mastiff male who qualified at Belfast. He's now four and a half years of age and is owned by his Australian breeder, Ronnie Omer, in partnership with his handler, Bill Warren, and they come from Birmingham. He's won one group one since he's arrived in this country and last year he was best in show at the famous Sydney Royal Show. Kiff the Bull Mastiff.
the Beagle, number 29, a two-year-old male, and the Driffield qualifier. and is being handled by his owner breeder, David Craig. He's won 14 cc's, two reserves, and five times has been best to breed. He won group three at Bournemouth earlier this year. Number 29, we have the Beagle male, Davricard Harrison. And now the two and a half year old Pekingese male number 30 who qualified at South Wales, where the judge was Peter Green. He's owned by Philip Martin, who bred him in partnership with his handler, Bert Easton. He's won seven CCs, four, CC, four reserve CCs, and 11 times has been best to breed. Now at home, he's known as Ali Ash and I'm told that those of you who may watch the program would appreciate that he is named after someone who's got something to do with Strictly Come Dancing. Ali Arsh is the top winning Pekingese of this year. Number 30 is the Pekingese male, Yaki, it must be him. And finally, we come to number 31, the Midland Counties qualifier, the two-year-old Samoyed male, is being handled by his breeder, Andrea Kirkwood, who owns him in partnership with Nicola Carruthers. Has won five CCs. He was best in show at Windsor when he was remarkably young. This is champion Van Dream Imperial Cruise, otherwise known as Jega.
we are now ready to invite back all the 27 finalists. So please give them a very warm welcome as we await the first cut. The points have been calculated. I'm terribly disappointed we didn't have any ties, Mr. Bloxham. You know how much I love ties. I am going to call out the judges' final seven, and they will be called out in catalogue order, so that gives you no indication whatsoever of points. And when your number is called, will you please move to the centre of the ring? Remaining in for the next round of scoring is dog number two, the Skipper King. <laughs> the next finalist, dog number five, the Australian Shepherd. Could we also have stepping forward? Number six, the Maltese. <laughs> Our next finalist is number 21, the Sky Terrier. Could I ask number 23, the Bull Mastiff, to step forward? It's a good day for Bull Mastiffs. Number 28, step forward, please. Who is going to be the seventh finalist to battle it out to go to Amsterdam? Could I ask number 31, the Samoyed, please? So with the seven dogs in the center of the ring, will you please put yourself in an orderly line in the center of the ring? And then could we say thank you very much as we say goodbye to the other finalists and congratulate them on winning through to the Ukanova Champion Stakes Finals of 2015. Now, our two judges can look at the final seven going around once they are then going to leave the ring and return for you to give them another individual score out of 100. And please, ladies and gentlemen, cheer them on as they battle it out for a place in, Amst in Amsterdam in December. Round you go. The Skipper Key, the Australian Shepherd, the Maltese, the Sky Terrier, the Bull Mastiff, the Bull Mastiff again, and the Samoy. That's a bit more like it. And I think by my calculations, all, all the seven are actually males. So can we have the skipper key back in, and I think Jeff and Mark are probably going to want a little bit more movement because, as they said early, they are looking for a dog that will really represent the UK well when it goes to Amsterdam in December. 
So cheer on, the Skipper King. And in case you've forgotten, this is a seven-year-old male who qualified at British Utility Breeds. At the second level of competition, these seven dogs are getting a completely clean sheet and again being scored out of 100. Dog number five, the two-year-old Australian Shepherd male. That's the Manchester qualifier, the Australian Shepherd. <laughs> Number six, the three-year-old Maltese, the UK Toy Dog qualifier. Number 21, the six-year-old Sky Terrier male who qualified at painting. Number 23, the Welsh Kennel Club Bull Mastiff Qualifier, a four-year-old male. And our second bull mastiff, the four and a half year old male, the Belfast qualifier, number 28.
And our final finalist in the last seven is the two-year-old Samoyed male, number 31, who qualified at Midland Counties just last week. So now we're going to have the seven dogs return to the ring for the final points. So please welcome the Skipper King, number two. The Australian Shepherd, number five. The Maltese, number six. The Sky Terrier, number 21. The Bull Mastiff, 23. The Bull Mastiff, 28. The Samoyed 31. And I have a message for any of you who are staying at the Ramada Hotel. Could you please see Julie Hearsey, the lovely, friendly, ever accommodating Julie Hearsey, who is based in the foyer on my left, um, and she will tell you all about the transport arrangements to get you up for dinner and to get you back at night. So anyone at the Ramada, just go and speak to Julie Hearsey and she will do whatever you want. Well, within reason. <laughs> what happens now is we will ask the skipper key to lead the final field of seven around to the exit gate at the bottom and we will then invite the final five back into the ring in reverse order. So Trish, if you'd like to lead off, please, and give them a big round of applause as they lead the final seven, the Skipper Key, the Australian Shepherd, the Maltese, the Sky Terrier, our two Bull Mastiffs, and the Samoyed. Okay, you see, if you, if you, Dream and hope long enough, all your, all your wishes come true. We're gonna have a tie break. But I'm not gonna tell you from which position. So, we need two dogs in the ring and the judges have to decide which of the two they want to give this particular spot to. We need, back in the ring, number two, the skipper key, and number 23, the bull mastiff. Number two and number 23, back in the ring, please.
Isn't this going to be fun if they get one each? Hmm? Can we have a drum roll, Ross, please? You haven't got drum roll. This is really exciting. Okay, it's decision time. The dog placed fifth out of the final seven is number two, the skipper cake. In fourth position, number 21, the Sky Terrier. In third place, the Australian Shepherd. Number five. In second place, the Samoyed. So, who do we need to find out whether or not they have a passport? The first person we need to ask is actually Sarah Jackson and her Maltese. Sarah, do you have a passport? Does Bandit have a passport? So it looks like Bandit's off to Amsterdam, along with Sarah Jackson. So would you please stay where you are, ladies and, no, ladies and ladies, whilst we ask Annalise Riki, the general manager of Yukonuba, to present these five lucky exhibitors with their rosettes. And further presentations will be made later on this evening. <laughs>